women, a lot of men, they're insecure. They don't trust anyone. They uh, aren't healed from the last relationship. They jealous, beyond jealous, possessive almost. And they got communication issues. And they're selfish. If you're any of those things I listed above, you're not ready for a relationship. Yeah, you may be lonely, but the lonely season will end. And remember, you're not really lonely because if you are a child of God, then you know that God will never leave you nor forsake you. I was single for about three years. And at first, it, it was bothering me, you know, because I was used to being with someone for years. And then just to be on my own, it just really bothered me. I just was, I, I, I didn't like it, you guys. I did not like it at first. But then I, I got content in my single state. I was like, you know, it don't even matter. You know, and then when I least expected it, it just happened for me. So are you ready for a relationship? You can't be selfish. See, when you're single, you don't have to cater to anyone. You don't have to try to balance your time with that individual, spend time with them. You can do what you want to do. Meaning, you don't got to give an account to anyone. You don't have to check in with anyone. Uh, you just, you know, you can eat what you want to eat. You don't have to consider the other person. Uh, Know, you can pretty much do what you want to do without having someone to check into you know like you can go certain places but when you're married or when you uh, even when in a relationship you know out of respect you just let the other person know you know uh, you can talk who you want to you, you can talk who you want to talk to with you know when you're single but when you're when you're in a relationship you can't do that you know because it's like disrespectful to the other person like for instance, when I was single, I, you know, would, would text occasionally to other, uh, you know, to, to men that were married, you know, uh, because I knew that they had to give an account to their wives, and it wasn't like that for me, and it was about ministry. I would always text apostles or uh, pastors and things like that, you know, for ministry, maybe for prayer, or just, you know, it was about kingdom, business. But it wasn't no, uh, nothing on my part, you know. And, you know, and this one I would have walls up. I wouldn't even consider uh, dating at the time. I didn't even want that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really text anyone that was single, you know. So, any, anywho. So, you can't be selfish. You cannot be selfish, you guys. You know. And when you, you know, when you want a relationship. I know sometimes you got that single mentality, which is I, I, me, me, my, my. But when you are in a relationship, it's us, us, we, we, ours, ours. You know, it's not, it's never I. So, if you are selfish, you are not ready for a relationship. You might as well just throw it out the window. Because all that's going to do is cause problems. Really cause problems. If you're self-centered, you're not ready. Because you're going to have to take some time. And uh, away from you. Catering to you. And invest it in someone else. Because you have to show the other person they're important to you. And what's important to you, you won't mind investing time in. You know, see, when you're single, you can work extra hours and you know um but when you with somebody you you gotta have time to date you know you gotta take time off from work you just gotta make the relationship work so you can date and spend time together and have time to talk because if you're just a workaholic you know i'm not saying that you can't have a relationship but it's gonna be really hard really hard all right insecurity insecure you're not ready for a relationship you're not ready I always encourage people to know who you are in Christ number one and get healed first get healed you know don't date too early don't jump out there too early for, what's the point of worship because well, you don't want to be lonely 
abandonment issues. It stems from, you know, rejection. It stems from uh, feeling inadequate about yourself, like you're not good enough or you can't deliver. And it also comes from being intimidated by maybe the person you're with. You know, that's why you have to know who you are and walk in what you're called to walk into. So you won't be insecure and know what you bring to the table and know that you are uh, a complete package or know that you have something to bring. Amen. And you, or you are valuable. But if you don't know that about yourself, then you, you, you end up being insecure. And insecurity won't work. It will just devastate the relationship. It will just literally devastate the relationship. All right. If you have not been delivered from certain stuff, like lust, you know, you ain't going to be faithful. You're not going to be faithful. And if you're not ready to commit to anyone, you're not ready. Amen. And if you even perversion, you know, if, if you feel like you have to um, give somebody to cover up something you're dealing with as a cover up and as a front, you're not ready. Amen. Don't do that to someone. Do not do that. That's, that ain't fair. That ain't right. Um, you know, so it's, it's a lot of uh, things you have to think about before you jump into a relationship with someone. You know, because relationships, they take time. You got to work on it to make it work. You got to invest in it to make it work, right? And sometimes relationships don't work out. So... Ooh, are you willing to put that time in and energy? See, if you like your alone time, you ain't ready for no relationship. Some of you guys, you know, especially my people that's in ministry, we know that we can get way more done in ministry, single, than we can with someone. Unless, you know, you and that person are uh, doing ministry t together. So you, you, have to, you have to consider all of these things. Are you ready for a relationship? Honesty. Are you an honest person? Are you ready to let your guards down and allow the people, the, the, allow the person that you're, you know, in a relationship with to see your weaknesses, your flaws? Are you ready to relax and just be you? Just be you without putting on the front, without uh, faking it. You know, can they see the real you? If, you? if you can't do that, you're not ready. Never rush into something. Never rush, take time, wait it out. Make sure that this is in God's will for your life. Make sure that you know, this relationship is going to be a blessing to you, a benefit and not a uh, hindrance. See, the blessings of the Lord make you rich and added no sorrow. So you want to make sure that, you know, that you are in God's will when you get in this relationship. Because if you get connected to the wrong person, you know, it can uh, cause you damage and much pain. So, you guys... I pray right now for wisdom in your life. I pray right now that God will order your steps. I pray against the counterfeits, people that is false and sent from the enemy. In Jesus' name, I pray that you will guard your heart. Uh, and I pray that, you know, God will send the right person in your life at the right time. And that your relationship will be God-ordained in everything that you've been praying to God for. I know it's been a time for some of you guys. Um, you haven't probably dated in a while. You've probably been just lonely for a while. But I want to encourage you and tell you that no matter how long you've been by yourself, God can send someone. God has someone for you. If you have a desire in you, know that God put that desire in you. And he is working on your behalf. Amen. But you got to be ready and you got to make sure that you come into a place of hope.
for healing 